Good evening, everyone. Uh, a very, very warm welcome to all of you to our webinar on how to become the global professional accountant with ACCA. Uh, friends, all of us, uh, I would say, including, including myself, at some point in time in my life, always wanted to become the global professional, a very, very, very global professional who can work anywhere, everywhere. And to this aspiration, ACCA comes across as a very, very strong avenue for all of us. To understand more about this excellent, excellent path, we are here today uh, you know, to discuss anything and everything about ACCA and to, of course, achieve the objective. Uh, you know, we have our eminent, eminent panelists over here, and I would like to welcome them all for joining us. Uh, to, to introduce all uh, you know, of them to you, I have, uh, and I'll go one by one, I have with me today Mr. Krishan Sharma, who is from ACCA and is currently the head for North and East India and managing the entire ACCA business development at large. He's a versatile professional and I, I, I know him uh, that, you know, how versatile he is and various things that he, he, he does and have been awarded as one of the top 100 global leaders in the field of education, my friend, and that's that's big. He's also an avid writer, and I always, always relish what he writes, and also you can always see his insightful thoughts and posts in various newspapers and social media handles. Welcome, Christian. It's, it is privilege, privilege, my friend, to have you with us. I have uh, uh, Prabhanshu also, you know, Prabhanshu Mittal with us also on our panel. He's also from ACCA and is the senior, senior business relationship manager for ACCA. A very, very strong and, and, and helpful professional responsible for developing and supporting key relationship for North of ACCA. And I can tell you very strong, very strong support to all of the ACCA fraternity at large. A very warm welcome to you, Prabhanshu. It's always, always pleasure to talk to you, my friend. Coming on to, you know, we have uh, Mrs. Swati Thingra with us. She is the founder and director of Intram Global, the approved learning partner with ACC and comes with a rich experience and educational background. She has been working it extensively with various institutions and students in mentoring and coaching them and really making their journey successful. Welcome, welcome, Swati. And now to introduce myself, uh, my name is Pankaj Tingra, a, a, a finance professional on the ground, coming from uh, you know from the corporate and, and having various, uh, I would say, diverse uh, perspective about various corporates. And I've been working in various various uh, names, namely like uh, Wipro, BlackRock, PCG, and whatnot. All in all, I would say I am privileged to know all of you uh, three, and uh, you know, and, and you all, and really, I, I am the really testimony to all your various exceptional contributions. You know, and and I would really like to thank all of you for taking time from your schedule and joining us. Coming on to the proceedings that we have for the day, I have a uh, agenda. I'll not say agenda per se. I have the broad uh, pillars that I really want to. Uh, conquer uh, in in this uh, in this webinar, which is very concise and smart. We will kickstart with the comprehensive presentation uh, coming right from ACCA, and then I will be asking various questions with regard to ACCA, which students have been sharing with us, have been asking us in terms of you know what has. Uh, been and what can be the right way of really pursuing ACCA. I would also request a participant to keep writing, uh, you know, what all questions they have on their mind into the Q&A box as we really proceed and, and work towards this webinar. We'll be happy to include that too as we progress further and in the end. Really want this session, you know, my friends, to be very evaluating for all of you and you get answers for all your questions. All right, Aves. With that, my friend, let's start now, and I'll hand over, you know, for for us to really know more about ACCA and 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 get to understand more as to you know what can be the journey for any individual, for any professional to start the ACCA career. So over to you guys. Uh, thank you, Pankaj. First of all, uh, it's a privilege, and in fact, uh, I would like to say thanks to you, to Swati, and to all the students, actually, for having us over here. So before I start my presentation about ACCA, I just wanted to tell you that, I mean, the finance as a domain is actually very much in demand in the world today. So whether your business is in profit or whether your business is in the loss, I mean, you need some finance professional to understand that where it stands today, as far as the stakeholders or the shareholders are concerned. 
now what we see is that over the period of time especially for the next uh, uh, probably 5 years 7 years or a decade down the line we see there is a significant growth as far as the demand for the finance professional across the world are concerned and especially in the market like india so there is a significant opportunities for the finance professionals across the country and across the globe once there is an opportunity of course what you see that the career in that particular domain is going to be very much rewarding i mean it's like the gold prizes when there is a demand in the market but the supply is less of course the value for that particular good increases so this is exactly happens whenever there is a crunch for the talent and finance is in demand crunch of the talent that means there is a rewarding career which you can look for now with this word i am going to share my screen in the inter- acca is a global professional body uh, having incorporated in 1904 now acca stands for association of chartered certified accountants uh, incorporated in the uk in 1904 with the students and now i can see that thank you uh, please let me know once you are able to see my screen yes we yes, can yes we can see thank you so we are the world's most forward thinking professional accountancy body what does it mean i i take an example of ifrs international financial reporting standards while the first set of the countries in the world has incorporated ifrs way back in 2002 accf was the first body in the world to incorporate ifrs into its curriculum in 1996 why the simple reason is whenever the world actually starts implementing the con- certain set of the countries start implementing that particular standard they need the professionals who can actually work on those standards and by the time the world actually started looking out for the ifrs standard uh, professionals we have already prepared them so that is what the forward thinking means as far as the acc qualification is concerned even our logo says think ahead you have to think 5 years 10 years down the line and that's what exactly acc qualification does even uh, and this is something which is reflected into the most contemporary uh, cutting edge uh, syllabus which is very dynamic uh, syllabus and evaluation methodology which we have adopted in acc qualification with close to a million students and members uh, which are spread in 181 countries and when i'm saying 181 countries that means you can see the length and breadth of the acca presence i mean 90% of the globe where acca is present today we are the world's leading qualification as far as the finance and accounting is concerned coming with more than 100 years 116 to be precise years of innovation uh we have uh, in fact krishan with us and krishan very rightly says always that acca is actually 116 years young organization young because we have always been thinking around that what is the way forward what the world is need, looking for what are the corporates what are the shareholders demand and we adopt those into our syllabus and make sure that acc professionals are actually work ready the day when they qualify the qualification <laughs> uh i'll give you most uh, more updated data so we have uh, 110 offices in 60 uh, plus countries today uh, in fact in india also we do have two offices uh, with close to so 7400 approved employers now what does approved employer mean these are the employers who are approved by acca and these are the corporates which have actually requested acca to be approved by them why because the corporates need cutting edge talent they need the talent which can actually perform the job on the ground and where they get it from they are actually seeking the talent from there and that is why they have actually ap- applied to acc to become approved employer these are the corporates which sponsor acc qualification even for their own uh, employees these corporates hire acc talent and in fact at times they prefer acc talent while making their hiring decisions we have more than 500 examination centers in almost 150 countries today uh, we have more than 1800 ex- uh, accredited programs running in more than 800 universities worldwide what does acca do in india we have started our journey in 2013 we have offices in delhi and bombay uh, kishan and i are based in delhi office and in addition to these two locations we also do have office in chennai and bangalore in addition to these four locations we have our teams present in uh, calcutta and hyderabad also we have today within 6 years time uh, 
we have more than 40,000 active students who are pursuing ACCA qualification. And uh, you can imagine, I mean, there are quite a few students who have actually graduated the qualification also. So these are the 40,000 active students we are, which we are talking about. ACCA programs are running in more than 100 universities and colleges today. And close to 90 plus, almost 100 uh, corporates, Indian corporates are working with ACCA today. ACCA qualification. Now, how the qualification actually looks like. So there are total... 15 papers of which you have to appear or finish 13 papers. So here where my cursor is right now, you can see that applied knowledge, the, the one which is there in the gray box, there are three papers, business and technology, management accounting and financial accounting. Once you finish these three papers, you are given diploma in accounting and business. Then you move to the next level, which is applied skills. The one which is colored in the orange. There you can see six papers starting from corporate and business law. Performance management is costing, taxation, financial reporting is basically accounting paper, IFRS, audit and insurance, and financial management. Once you finish off these six papers, you are given advanced diploma in accounting and business. In addition to this, you also have an option to get your BSc from Oxford Brookes University UK, which is rated among the top 10 in finance and accounting by Standard Times. Uh, <clears throat> so, not only you are given diploma and advanced diploma, but also you are getting an international graduation from Oxford Brookes University, UK, just by submitting one research and analysis project. So you really don't have to appear for separate papers for that because this is possible because of the great transfer arrangement, but you just have to submit one research and analysis project and you are getting a BSc from OBU. Then you move to the next level. Here you can see there is a column for essentials, strategic business leader and strategic business reporting. These are the two essential papers. That means the compulsory papers. Then you move to the next level, which is options, advanced financial management, performance management, taxation, and advanced audit and assurance, of which you have to select any two. So three of applied knowledge, six of applied skills, and then two plus two, that means four of a strategic professional makes total 13 papers in ACCA. Once you finish off all these 13 papers, you are given a diploma, uh, ACCA qualification. That means you are now ACCA affiliate. In order to become an ACCA member, you have to finish off three years of PER, which is practical experience requirement. Now, what is practical experience requirement? Basically, any working experience, full-time or part-time, before, during, or after the qualification, which is relevant, that means should be in finance and accounting, of course, can be counted under PER. So, for example, if you're pursuing the local qualification, your articleship experience can be counted under PER. If you have worked in finance or accounting somewhere, that experience can be counted under PER, or else, you have finished all the 13 papers, you are working as a full-time professional or probably you're working somewhere, anywhere. And that working experience could be also counted under PER. So you really don't have to do three years of articleship separately, which you have to do in a couple of other qualifications. Rather, your working experience, the job which you are pursuing, that can also be counted under PER. So with this, at least you are saving, at least, I'll explain to you why am I actually emphasizing on the word at least over here. You are saving three years of your career. And those within those three years, you can imagine, you can get a promotion at least. You can increase your salary by say 20, 25% at, at least. And you can actually start performing and um, getting on a full-time job. Now, post the ACC qualification, should you wish to pursue any further qualification, uh, you want to pursue masters so you can get a msc from university of london which is rated among the top universities in the world today or you can also get an mba from oxford brooks university or university of ireland by completing a couple of modules and you are good to get your master's degree so not only we have so what we have done actually three things one we have specialized you in finance and accounting second we have uh, strengthen your resume by providing you the, giving you the credit or by giving you uh, additional qualifications. And we have taken care of your current 
and the future career goals by giving you the option to pursue graduation or masters from much of reputed uh, universities worldwide now there are also exemptions now in acca we firmly believe that once you have finished of a module or completed a particular qualification you really don't have to repeat the same thing i mean this is what we have to do in india today right we are pursuing bcom we are pursuing some other qualification maybe we are studying the same paper but we have to study two different things and appear for two different papers right what we do is that we give you credit of that and basis on the what qualification you have we provide you exemption of certain papers so if for example if you are a ca completed so you are given nine paper exemptions from the first nine papers if you are an ipcc you are given five paper exemptions uh, first three then taxation and then audit if you are bcom completed you are given exemption of first four papers if you are bcom plus ipcc then it makes six papers because law is an additional paper in bcom if you are in the cf final group and you are not able to finish it off somehow because of any reason we give you paper to paper exemptions also so for example you have appeared probably for the first group and you have completed the financial reporting paper of cf final group then financial reporting corresponding paper is financial reporting in acca you can get an exemption if you finish of sfm paper in cf final group 1 you can get uh, get an exemption of fm uh, then they have got a law paper corresponding paper in acca's law and cf final group 2 is uh, advanced management accounting versus which performance management is the corresponding paper if you are a bba finance then first three papers are exempted in addition to this if you have any other qualification i encourage you to look for the url which is there on the slide right now to check for the exemptions so it's a completely online system in acca now the most important question how is acca qualification different number 1 it is extremely flexible how there is no grouping system in acca so you can appear for one paper at a time you can appear for more than one paper at a time say for example you appear for two papers unfortunately you flung into one paper so it doesn't mean that you have to repeat both the papers like happens in probably couple of other qualifications but what you have to do is that you just have to repeat the paper in which you have flung which we don't want i'm just giving you an example so the only thing is that there is no grouping in acca paper exams can be appeared in any order so let's take an example uh let me get back to the old slide here just to explain it to you performance management i'm just taking a random example performance management is here and financial management is here it's a ninth paper performance management is a fifth fifth paper fifth paper if you want to appear for financial management before performance management you can do that so you really don't have to finish off the first eight paper and then move to the ninth paper you can appear for the ninth paper first and then fifth paper later that's your choice so basis on your what you are currently pursuing you can actually plan your studies accordingly and reduce the academic pressure on you four exam sessions march june september december last month of every quarter so that is when the examinations do happen in fact for the first four papers the papers are held on demand now what does it mean so these are the four paper business and technology now the new name is uh, management accounting financial accounting and law these are the four papers you can appear any day if you have got a slot available connect with the local examination center and you can appear for the paper so you want to appear for the paper probably the day after tomorrow you can do that for the remaining papers performance management onwards there are slot system so those are the session based examination center and for which we have got four sessions the idea is very simple you appear for one paper at a time prepare thoroughly for over the period of 3 months and you can finish off the acc qualification within 3 years if you have to appear for all the 13 papers if you are exempted out of some papers then probably your pace of finishing or completing the qualification actually increases and you can actually finish of the qualification earlier 
So now you can see that's why I was actually emphasizing on the word at least three years, because the idea is very simple. By the time you graduate, or probably by the time you are finishing off your current qualification, uh, you finish off ACCA qualification, and through that, overall, if you calculate. you can actually save 4 to 5 years if you are pursuing acc qualification versus any qualification and that is again a conservative figure which i am taking right now and within 5 years you can imagine i mean you can increase you can get two promotions you can increase your salary probably couple of times or more than twice and uh, your friends will be actually working under you i mean what gives you more satisfaction than that a rewarding qualification is something which i have already covered diploma and advanced diploma optional bsc from oxford brookes university and optional msc from university of london in addition to this optional mba from university oxford brookes university and university of dublin uh, so you can choose for the set of the range of the qualifications which are available with acca and you can actually probably look for that where do you want to take your career ahead now why do the corporates actually prefer acc qualification of course they are getting the the right set of the talent but how does that right set, set of the talent evolves it it evolves because of the dynamic syllabus our syllabus changes every year we don't continue to teach probably the same syllabus for 5 years 10 years done we change the syllabus every year make sure that whatever we are teaching to the students is the most contemporary and cutting edge uh, content practical in case study basis evaluation i take an example strategic business leader one paper you could see it's a one case 12 to 16 pages one case 100 marks 4 hours because when you are actually working in the corporate you don't get a situation where the situation says that okay this is something which you have studied in probably audit paper in chapter number 4 i mean that is a comprehensive situation which you receive where you have to Uh, apply all the knowledge which you have gained in order to resolve that particular challenge so that's why uh, we prepare you for those situations and acc examinations are computer based you really don't have to have uh, uh, knowledge of the c++ or java or something we don't ask that please don't wor uh, worry about it just a basic computer knowledge is something which is required you can just basically type it that's it but the idea is because when you actually work in the corporate you work on the computers you really don't work on the books uh, the diaries or but through the pen and paper so you really have to uh, uh, get yourself uh, acquainted with that the last piece uh, all these things are cool but where the employability is where are the jobs for acca professionals Uh, of course i do have uh, my colleague uh, krishan uh, who can explain it in much uh, uh, deeper way but just to uh, tell you that acc has its own career portal and currently i'm live over there so jobs.accglobal.com please go yourself see yourself that how this uh, career portal looks like i'm putting on india uh, before i do that just see how many jobs are there currently for acc worldwide you can see almost 35000 job postings are there worldwide for acc professionals even today when we are talking about uh, that the people are losing jobs there are no jobs in the market because of the covid so on and so forth and if you see where is india you can see 972 job postings are there now these are the job postings there are quite a few job postings where are there are multiple people are required uh, and where these jobs are uh, you can see i mean i'm there live on, on right now you can see jobs are there in ms companies like amazon uh, city ey now here you can see consultant business con uh, business consulting risk ami risk assurance pune now this is actually one job posting over there but they need 60 people so just don't go by 972 but it is much the number much beyond that now uh then you move scroll down you can see amazon again ey now accenture uh city so on and so forth you continue to move and you can continue to see that there is a significant demand of acca talent within india and 
that will actually help you to land into the comp with the companies which are so called dream companies to work at i mean if you actually move forward into the, this career portal you realize that even there are jobs which are available with boston consulting uh, morgan stanley uh, goldman so on and so forth i mean these are the dream companies for the finance professionals worldwide so there that is the kind of the opportunities which actually acca brings on the table uh this is what the portal i was talking about job profiles variety of the job profiles across the finance and accounting domain ranging from the forensic accountant to the credit control manager to the risk control to the partner level to the audit senior whatever the kind of the experience you have the specialization you have and there you can actually get a job if you are an acc professional uh with this i finish it off my presentation uh krishan may i please invite you if you want to add something from your side thank you thanks to vanshu i think uh, you have covered it quite uh, comprehensively so what we'll do is that we'll move to the q and a uh, over to you pankaj sure thank you and uh, thanks prabhanshu it was uh, it was really uh, insightful and i can tell you very motivating too i really liked uh, the few anecdotes that you used so you know really really liked in terms of you know what you really compared this qualification to so thanks for that coming on to uh, you know the few few questions that i i have and this is uh, just want to give a uh, perspective in terms of you know how we have gathered these questions so uh, you know some of this is coming from the uh, you know right from the students in terms of you know the daily uh, checks and balances that uh, uh, that the team has in terms of you know what is not uh, that they need or what is that that they really need an insight on or an understanding on and then uh, there are few uh questions being 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 sent to us over an email what they wanted to cover in this uh, uh in this webinar so we have covered both of them from the standpoint of really bringing it to light so one question that i have for you prabhanshu and this is uh, very much uh, i would say a very uh, uh right segue of what you just spoke is what what you know is is the acc qualification easy or you know what is the what is the pass percentile of of acc if if you can throw some light on because that's something anybody and everybody is interested in that will i be able to clear you know how is the result and what is the passing percentage and what not so do you want to throw some light on that uh thank you pankaj for your question which is very relevant in fact so i think i think it has got three questions in it to it what is the pass percentage of acc uh is acc qualification really easy and uh, if it is easy or difficult why it is so so number one the pass percentage is very encouraging uh for the first three papers if you see around uh, 70% is because we really don't have the grouping system so there is no pass percentage on the group basis rather it's a per paper basis which varies every attempt so on an average something which i can tell you is approximately 70 75% for the first three papers for the next six papers which is the applied skills level it varies from 35 to 55% again varying from the different papers and for the professional level it varies from 30 to 40 45% now this is a lump sum figure as far as the pass percentage is concerned so yes it is a very encouraging pass percentage if i could say that versus to any other professional qualification now the question is why look acca is not a easy qualification it is a competitive qualification to any other professional qualification in the world because when there is a qualification which is professional it has to have certain amount of rigor which acca has very much the reason it has a encouraging pass rate is because it is very flexible at the same time now imagine if i ask you to probably prepare for four papers at a time over the period of six months and you have to actually pass all the four papers and get get some aggregate also versus to if i actually ask you to prepare for one paper at a time over the period of 3 months now which one would have a better chances of passing the examination i think the latter one and it is because of the flexibility which acca provides so because of the flexibility the pass rates are better however acca qualification is equally rigorous to any other professional qualification in the world krishan would you like to add anything Yeah, thanks to Panchu, and uh, I think you you can you have covered it well. Uh, I would like to tell the students about a uh, couple of things in addition to this. Number one is obviously in uh, most of the examinations which happen in our country and worldwide are pen and paper based. 
Interestingly, your pen, uh, balance sheets and payroll accounts are not prepared by pen and paper anymore. These are being prepared by the robots or the softwares. So what we have done is that we have actually moved to computer-based examinations. So uh, there is no deduction for handwriting, uh, right? So you, if your handwriting is bad, don't worry. Your handwriting is Times New Roman or Arial on the system. So that will take care of your scores there. And second is our examinations are completely application-based which means that you are going to actually answer the practical aspects of uh, the question which has been asked. So most of the questions will be situation-based and practical, which will make you think and provide the right uh, solutions to the uh, those questions. So it is very important for you to just not mug up the theory, which you normally do for the other exams. And that is why we are saying that the ACC exam has that trigger. Uh, it is important for you to understand uh, the implications of what has been taught to you. So instead of just looking at the PNL account, or the balance sheet, what you have to do is that you have to start thinking that, okay, if the sales revenues of X organization has grown by five times every year, and the losses are also growing by three times every year, then what are the reasons behind it? So you have to think and uh, look forward to those reasons. So that's the difference between our qualification and the others. And that's why we are not easy, but we're flexible. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I completely go with you, uh, Christian, regarding ACCA. Yes, it is a course wherein uh, you are being an industry ready. Basically, you are employing in, uh, you are going and entering into a market where they need such kind of professionals. And I and I can tell you, you know, one thing uh, which is again coming from the horse's mouth, you know, I'm, and I'm I'm the horse here, uh, uh, sharing it from you know from the standpoint of you know what corporate generally, generally looks at and it is a myth at times which many students have that you know i'm a fresher will i get a job you know fresher does fresher gets a job only the experienced one gets a job and that's where you know something like acc really differentiates you from the from the market because you know as as krishan rightly mentioned and and thanks for that krishan that application based model really strengthens you with the a content that any corporate would look for in you, which is like, you know, we do not want uh, the astronauts in the in the companies to work for. We only want smart folks who can apply, who can be logical, who can be commonsensical, who can be smart to really adhere to and, and, and get uh, accustomed to. And that's what this, this qualification really does. And thanks for really pointing out that question. That was really helpful. I'll extend the same thought further by saying, uh, yes, good curriculum, content standpoint, awesome, uh, very application oriented, good. Is that leading to the increased employability of us as an ACC in the market? So how about the employability of us in the market? In the, I have, and thanks Prabhanshu for showing us the, uh, the detailed screen in terms of you know, kind of jobs that are available. But how about the employability at large, Krishan? Do you want to throw some light on that? Thanks, Pankaj. And a very, very relevant question because uh, employability or the opportunities are really very important for a student when he chooses a qualification, right? So uh, you should not choose a qualification when there, wherein, and there, is, there are no opportunities. So interestingly, uh, if you look at employability as a word or a term, right, you have to divide it into two. Number one is employment and the other one is ability, right? So we should look at uh, both of them separately. So Prabhanshu has shown the employment opportunities. I'll talk about the ability aspect also, which we do with the ACC qualification. So if you look at our qualification, which is obviously a professional qualification, uh, I will quote just a very small example, Pankaj, today here. That, for example, uh, I'm a BCom from, say, the best of the college in Delhi University. All right, I complete my BCom, and then I see an advertisement in Times of India is in that, okay, an uh, organization needs an accountant who is well qualified, a BCom from the best institute in the country, and he has scored at least 80% marks in the BCom degree. And the students feel uh, will normally feel that, yes, I'm uh, ready for it because I have scored 85%. My scores have been consistently good, and uh, I think I can get this job. And when he or she reaches the employer's place, right, and uh, stands in the queue, they, they find at least 10,000 people are standing behind them to apply for the same job because all of them have scored more than 80%, right? And they have done their BCOMs. So practically what happens is that uh, chances of you getting that job is one upon 10,000 probability wise, right? So uh, so that's what uh, the normal qualification does for you. A professional qualification like ACC, what it will do is that it will reduce the denominator for you. So for example, instead of 10,000, three zeros are remo remo removed from the bottom, then obviously your chances increases. So that's the biggest advantage 
towards the ability for the students. Second is, as I mentioned that, yes, we are an application-oriented qualification. We ensure that that ability is brought in amongst the people, wherein they become work-ready, as Swati also rightly mentioned. So that's what we do, that every uh, paper which is there in ACCA ensures that people get some competencies. There are 12 competencies which ACCA has already identified, and each paper is linked to that. If you look at our paper, which is business and technology, right? Business and technology not only talks about planning, organizing, directing, controlling, budgeting, and business environment and type of companies. It also talks about artificial intelligence, blockchain, big data, right? The, the new terms which are there in technology. Now, you are not supposed to become a coder. We don't want you to become a coder, right? But what we want you to do is to understand these technologies and use them as a tool for your benefit, right? And that's why we are teaching you these things in our qualification. As Prabhanshu mentioned that, Yes, we are very, very innovative. That's why we have actually added these topics in our curriculum. Like business and technology covers that. SBL also covers that, strategic business leader. So yeah. SBL as an examination, it is a combination of those nine papers you have studied first, right? So the case study which will come to you is actually a juice out of those nine papers. And it tests your ability towards solving that case. For example, we will not ask you what is merger and acquisition uh, Pankaj in the exam, but we might ask you that, okay, uh, Vodafone and Idea merged and you are the CFO of Reliance Geo. What impact do you see on your organization? Rather than looking at uh, the, the other purview, you, the question will ask you something else. So practically it is uh, going to test your situation handling uh, skills, right? And it will give you all the aspects of uh, uh, creating that ability in you so that you are able to pick up that employment which is available in the market. As Prabhanshu mentioned, the demand is very high, supply is less. And in fact, uh, what has happened is most of the jobs, Pankaj, which were there outside India, and you are with BCG, so you understand it better than anyone else, that practically most of the jobs which were there in Europe, right, America, as well as in Australia and New Zealand, they have been shifted to India. And these jobs have come to places which are very close to us. These jobs are in Gurgaon, these jobs are in Noida, these jobs are in Chandigarh, Jaipur, Lucknow, Calcutta, right? Hyderabad, Chennai, Bangalore, Trivandrum, Kochi. These are the places where jobs are there. And they always look for people. The challenge is that they are not getting the right set of people, right? So uh, obviously employment opportunities are definitely there. Uh, and don't worry about that. We have been there for 116 years now. As uh, uh, Pramanshu said, we are 116 years young. Why we are young? Obviously, we, we are innovative, we are creative and passionate, as you guys are, because we deal with students. But what we ensure is that we uh, create those opportunities for you, not only today, but for tomorrow also. So as Pramanshu mentioned that with uh, our tagline is think ahead, we not only think ahead, but we act ahead also. And we ensure that we uh, are looking at the future for you so that uh, whenever you pursue a qualification, you are not going to look into the employment today. You would look into for the, uh, the employment opportunities after, say, three years down the line or, say, two and a half years down the line. So we are prepared to give you those opportunities at that time also. So that's what our employability is, employment and ability together. And for ability, I'm sure Pintram is going to support all the students on a regular basis by giving them all the tricks and traits uh, to ensure that they become wholesome professionals. Yeah. Yeah, sure. We are. We are helping out students. Sure. Thanks for the, you know, for the wonderful, wonderful uh, answer, uh, uh, Krishan. I think it was very, very, very uh, targeted and very smart way of really showcasing how the ability can, can really differentiate you in the market. But how about the scope, Krishan? You know, we know that, you know, um, yes, uh, the course curriculum is good. Employability is, is, is taking the right spree in terms of we getting to know uh, the right employment opportunities for them right now at this point in time, coupled with the ability factor that we're really adding on to the individuals in terms of getting, giving them the, the, the right tips, tips and the tricks and that, that they would need in terms of conceptualizing uh, what exactly the corporate has to say. But how about the scope at large? And when I say scope, I'm not only considering scope from the employability standpoint, scope from the from the growth standpoint, scope from the maturity standpoint, the maturity curve, if I may say, for the lack of better word, both in India and then outside India. Just if you want to throw some light on, it will be really great for the students. Thanks, Pankaj. Again, a very, very important and relevant question. So let me start with uh, two terms here, and then I will come to the, uh, the final scope. Uh, two terms are, one is job, second is career, right? And uh, if, you, if you look at uh, job, job is something which is uh, uh, normally that we do, right? And uh, if, for example, you talk to someone that, okay, uh, what are you doing? This guy will say that, okay, I'm executive finance and account 
uh, with say uh, the big four organization. 15 years down the line, Pankaj, when you meet him and you ask him, what do you do? And he says, I'm still an executive finance and account uh, with the same organization. Now, what will he say? Whether he's into a job or a career? He's not into a job. <laughs> he's into a job, right? So he has not made a career out of it, right? So that's important. So when you look forward to a career, you, you need a lot of things, right? And a, a career is much more wider. It talks about long term. This is not about short term. Short term is getting that job, getting that salary, getting that designation right or maybe getting that promotion that short term but what is important is to look forward to the long term career because you're not looking at today you're looking for, forward to say 30 years or 25 years of your working life right and maybe sometimes more than that because uh, uh, normally in accountancy field people start slightly late as provanshu was mentioning that okay the the people have five years uh, or three years of saving in their life so uh, normally what happens is if you look at the global passing out age of a professional accountant is it is 25 Right, and with ACC, people can actually look look forward to completing the qualification by 2021 and starting their careers. Right, and here the the biggest advantage, as Prabhanshu has mentioned about promotions and other things, I thought I should mention about something else, which is retiring early, if you want. Right, so if you start early, you can actually look forward to retiring early also, and uh, obviously look forward to enjoying the world uh, later on. Now, if you look at the scope, the qualification uh, opens doors for you. Uh, in various fields. As Prabhanshu was mentioning, uh, there are so many roles that you can look forward to. You can get into risk, you can get into investment analytics, you can get into, say, uh, the basic uh, accountancy, you can get into uh, financial reporting, right? So there are various areas you could get into audit, taxation, law, so many opportunities are there. And we don't limit you to a particular opportunity, right? So the doors, uh, so ACC qualification is like a key towards that door. And you just open the door and then obviously the world opens for you. Right? So that's what we do with uh, our qualification. The other thing is that the qualification ensures that you remain relevant throughout your life. It's not about you studying today and then forgetting it. Right? So our qualification is such that we make alumni for life. Right? What we say is that once we have holded the hand of a student, we don't leave them. Right? They, they are there with us throughout their lives. And what we do is that we support them during their student journey, we support them for their employability, and once they have been employed, then we give them a lot of uh, relearning material so that they can come up and keep on learning newer things, which will ensure that they remain relevant in the market. In case they need further support from us, they can always come back and request us. We are more than happy to support them for uh, their jobs, et cetera. In fact, we take their support also later on to, uh, in getting the rest of the students who are pursuing the qualification placed. So that's what we do. Uh, the, the globe is open. Uh, the, uh, the, there are no boundaries anymore. And in fact, COVID has ensured that more opportunities are there for people uh, anywhere in the world. So you might be in Delhi, but you might manage the operations for a US-based organization without traveling to US now. Right, so that's the biggest advantage, and uh, I can I can talk about a couple of organizations who have already started doing that. So one of my friends who is in Delhi, he's managing the U.S. operations of an organization wherein he has never traveled. He's doing it virtually only, staying in Delhi, and he's pay, getting paid in dollars, right? And there are a lot of people in India with ACCA qualification, right, who are members of a qualification. So in fact, one of the members who's in Jaipur and Prabhanshu also personally knows him. His father is an Indian CA, and this guy is an ACCA. His father gets Indian contracts and, and the boy gets the international contracts, right? Okay. So, <laughs> right. And while staying in Jaipur, right? So there are people who are in Chennai and signing the, uh, repo, uh, the financial reports for organizations which are based in Africa and Australia. So that is what was also happening with people who are staying here only. Now, the opportunities are tremendous. Globe is open. You can be anywhere. Why? Because our qualification is globally relevant. Right. And how do we make it? Uh, how, how do we ensure that it remains globally relevant? And this is a question which I asked to the HR director of KPMG. Very recently, uh, sometime back, I, before COVID only, I was sitting with her and I just asked her that, why do you choose someone above, uh, someone who has done ACC above the other qualification? Because they, they hire a lot of people, right? Throughout the year, they keep on hiring. And she said only one thing that, uh, Christian, for me, uh, ACCA is a ACCA anywhere in the world, right? That's the biggest advantage. And why it happens is because the qualification is so much globally relevant that you study the same content, the pedagogy remains the same, the way in which you're taught also remains the same. Your certification is the same. In fact, your date and time of the examination also remains the same, right? And then obviously the name ACCA remains ACCA across yes. the world. Otherwise what happens is every country has got a local body for accountancy, right? You, uh, like we have a local body here, you go to Pakistan, you have Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, 
go to singapore you have ca singapore you go to canada you have cpa in canada you have a cpa in usa and a ca australia and new zealand in australia and new zealand like this every country has got a local accountant i work with us once you do acc you become a global professional accountant and we are in that journey ensuring that we give you a passport which is valid across 181 countries and uh, pankaj somebody asked me that krishan what do you do and he expected that i'll say that i'm a working with a education organization but what i said is that i'm a travel agent i transport people from one place to another right so that's the scope of this qualification i can tell you yeah so so swati now you can have a different name to fintram also right because somewhat somewhere yeah. you are i think <laughs> yeah sure i will <laughs> I was glad, you know, glad to know that, and uh, you know that that's why, uh, Krishan, I, I, you know, I mentioned in your introduction also. It, it's, it's really, uh, you know, awesome to hear, you know, the way you, uh, the way you, ha- the way you have been conceptualizing these things. Because in the end, you know, you know, it is what the, you know, what the student really needs to know that, you know, how things are shaping up uh, in the environment, in the business that. in the geographies that they're dealing with and how an a qualification like you know acc can really help them survive not only the covid times per se but the, you know the future to really you know creep in in terms of you know the times to come and that's where uh, you know you being in a qualification that is so evolving and so recent and so modernized can really help you in terms of flourishing and reaching out where you can reach over a period of think about uh, you know wrapping this up you know uh, tell me you know more from the standpoint of uh, we having a a global career aspiration and you know sitting out in india you know one thing you rightly mentioned that you know if you're if you're sitting out in india and uh, uh, you know you have uh, a, you know a goal to work for somebody outside india there are various examples to it i'm sure you would have seen an example wherein you would have uh, seen uh, people qualifying in india and then being called out outside india uh, having the more international prospects for them in terms of you know thinking through more broadly and working for them if that is the case i think that is something again will be very insightful for the students to know how can they really uh, you know aspire for an international career sitting out here pankaj uh, uh, again a very very important and relevant question uh, uh, are, are you able to hear me my voice is clear yes. here yes great so and uh, in fact prabhanshu will also agree with me and uh, we we have been interacting with a lot of our members who joined kpmg ey pwc etc and uh, they they started their career in 2016 etc and we used to call them for our events so that they can talk to the students about what they have achieved majority of them have shifted to london now and the other parts of the world in fact one of the student who was working with ey in india is in ey ey new zealand now right and Uh, i have seen a lot of people uh, moving out of india why because there are couple of uh, advantages with our qualification all the papers obviously uh, are application based but then if you look at law it is international you look at tax it is international and international actually helps you to go ahead and uh, uh, like start working and kick start anywhere in the world right because we don't want you to remember those sections and subsections which are mentioned in tax and law but what we you have to do is that you have to understand the implication of those sections because section numbers might differ from one country to another if you understand the implication then obviously you'll be able to manage the same thing wherever you are right the indian contract act 1872 in india obviously was given by the britishers right 90% of the world uh, was governed by the britishers and that's the advantage which uh, uh, the british qualification has uh, so i i can uh, talk about it that yes the students uh, have moved out there are so many people the, the important thing is that you have to start somewhere so once you complete your qualification it can be any qualification whatever you have done for the students uh, but what is important is that you have to start somewhere and then look for the other opportunities today uh, i i can tell you that yes if you apply to some organizations you might get those jobs but uh, getting the visa sponsored is a challenge right so um, not every country would be able to sponsor your visa because you need to prove a lot of things that why this person is needed you don't have a local talent or what so, so many questions are being asked however in case your organization is transferring you to those locations which is happening with a lot of people then it is slightly easier so once you are inside a organization and then you get transferred definitely so the number of people who get the opportunities immediately might be lesser but number number of people moving out of the country later on once uh, they have spent say 2 uh, years 3 years within the organization is very very large 
that much i can tell you and opportunities are tremendous there is no doubt about it as i mentioned more number of jobs here in fact if you look at the financial reporting which is ifrs right um, india produces hardly 20 25000 professionals every year who understand ifrs properly in fact uh, um, uh, there are there were no pe- people who were, were able to understand ifrs till 2016 17 now people have started getting into it right and um, uh, there is a estimate a rough estimate that by 2025 we need at least half a million finance professionals who understand ifrs so lot of opportunities look at audit because of the banking fiasco right whatever has happened in the country whether it is with pnb or yes bank or Uh, other organizations like uh, satyam etc in the past what has happened is uh, the requirement of auditors and especially the internal auditors is increasing in the country right i can quote for an example that there's one very large private sector bank uh, which is recruiting one auditor in each of the, his its cluster each cluster has at least 10 branches one auditor managing one cluster and they have around 150 clusters across the country so you can imagine the kind of requirement they have uh, talking about a bank like say sbi which has got more than 27500 branches across the country imagine the kind of uh, opportunities they have for hiring uh, people who understand a professional accountancy well because this is not accountancy this is professional accountancy so yeah so a lot of opportunities for people and scope is very very large okay yeah um well, thanks uh, krishan i think that was something that was needed to people to you know for the people to understand for the student to really understand that that yes there is a toll gate but you know this this qualification essentially gives you the ticket ticket to cross that toll gate and cross that toll gate in the most amicable and smarter way so it's 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 there it's just that you have to think through it and think about it and really move on i know we have just you know we are just about the time i have one question for you swati and then we'll wrap up and this is more to understand because students have been asking more from the fintram standpoint in terms of you know what fintram has to add on you know and and why to choose fintram you know for for pursuing this qualification so do you want to throw some light on before i just uh, you know wrap this up and and uh, and, and, and close this yeah surely uh, i would thank you pankaj for asking this question because i know it's a very important question and uh, every student must be thinking about this uh, why acca with fintram yes firstly i want to start with the background of fintram what is fintram fintram is approved learning providers of acca we are global online learning platform wherein we teach student on an online platform firstly then we support students and uh, in terms of providing registration with acca along with that we provide them the coaching as well as mentoring and thirdly the uh, faculties that the faculties with fintram they are professional qualified faculties they are cas accas and uh, what do i say cpas so we are totally supporting our students from starting from registration to the coaching and then mentoring and we as an organization that is fintram we are providing various scholarships to our students these scholarships are at various levels starting from the knowledge level then to the skill level and thirdly to the professional level so all types of students can come and join fintram and be part of a fintram family and be a proud fintram what i would say awesome and and i i echo you know echo you on that you know the one of the biggest biggest uh, uh, benefit of having a complete video based online platform what what fintram has built out is primarily to support student across the globe and and you know so that they can really study and and learn any time and every time as per their need as per their wish which is something very very uh, smart way of teaching and again uh, forward looking and thinking ahead kind of a thing if i may say that in terms of you know what the future has to unfold for us so you know thanks uh, thanks uh, swati for that very well covered uh, so we are just about time and i don't want to take and go beyond that i think we have covered a lot from the standpoint of the questions that really came our way i would say in the end that this is just not the end you know there are many more sessions to come like this to get you more you know in terms of you know giving you a perspective more about the employability more about the opportunities more about you know what things you may need to know more from the research standpoint that acca does and so on and so forth again to make you equipped equipped from the marketability standpoint 
so there is a lot to come my friend it is just that you have to you know keep looking at and of course you can subscribe to our channels or you know we are available on all the social media channels you can subscribe to us and be with us and of course you know you'll get to know many more things coming around you know your way but uh, you know to end uh, krishan prabhanshu swati many 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 thanks and it was pleasure uh, you know for you to to be here and uh, you know we will we'll keep looking on uh, to you and uh, uh, i would say thanks very much for taking out time for us and for the student and for the acc fraternity thank you very much thank you pankaj and you uh, all the time. best all the students do take good care of yours in these difficult times i'm sure you're already doing that uh, but uh, keep on taking care of yourself and your family thank you thank you thanks krishna thank thanks pankaj thank you pankaj thank, thank you pankaj. swati and thanks, thanks everyone so for having us over thanks. here thank you thanks krishna ha uh ha -uh. sorry for interruption but do you know what is the difference between you and the more aware version of you your more aware version would subscribe to our channel fin tram global and press the bell icon for keep getting these videos and these updates subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon right now